Here's what nursing school and your professors don't tell you about having a nursing career. Just like that, Professor Just B. Supporting the students for more than 15. Walking the spirit, she got it by the most high. Champion in diversity, you came to the ride. Place for mentorship to go be on the textbooks. Vids every week to show just how success looks. Just like that, let's start class. Helping students and nurses with life and career paths. Let's go, let's go. It's just like that, like that. Just be, just be, just be. I'm here today to share my non-traditional nursing career with y'all and hopefully inspire and encourage you to think outside the box a little. The reason I even thought of doing a video like this is that lately I've been really thinking about how flawed our nursing education system is. Yes, it served us well in terms of preparing students for the clinical environment, minimum competencies, blah, 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 but it really lacks in the area of career planning and development. In my opinion, nursing programs pigeonhole their students. Listen, I've taught in several nursing programs, so I can say firsthand that there's a lot of grooming, maybe unintentionally, and this emphasis on getting students to pursue traditional nursing career paths. Now, I think that schools automatically assume that students want to work in hospitals, clinics, long-term care, and I might even throw in community home care. I mean, there's so much emphasis on these healthcare sectors in the nursing curriculum that students just naturally think that they have to work in these areas. But that's not even the case at all. There is a whole world of nursing out there. Non-traditional nursing career options aren't even discussed or covered in the nursing curricula. When I graduated back in 2000, blah, 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 all my peers were hired by the institutions or hospitals they did their final placements in. Here in Ontario, Canada at the time, we had a new graduate initiative that incentivized hospitals to hire new grads and they would pay for their salaries for the first 12 months, I believe. So I started to work in the emergency department right after graduation. That was the first atypical or non-traditional part of my nursing career because generally speaking, New grads were not hired in critical care settings like Emerge. That was then. It's very different now as many ER departments are willingly accepting graduates with less experience because they're so short staffed. With that in mind, I want to say to new grads or nursing students, don't let your instructors or seasoned nurses convince you that you can't work a certain job because you're a new grad. Yes, of course, experience is a must for many nursing jobs, but if you are the right fit and you really position yourself correctly so that others see your potential, they see your work ethic, your commitment, your passion for learning or professional development, managers and employers will find a way to hire you. Listen, there are more ways to get into a job than through the front door, right? Like use the back door, use the side door, use the roof if you have to. After graduation, I also decided to go right into graduate studies and get my master's degree. So while I was gaining clinical experience at the, and working at the bedside in the ER, I was also pursuing additional studies to advance my career when everyone else was still focused on clinical skills. Listen, the backlash I got from this was enormous, especially from seasoned nurses. I was even bullied by my own classmates and even a nursing professor who taught my first graduate course. I'll never forget that experience because guys, it made me second guess myself and whether or not I even belonged there. In fact, if I remember, it was my, it was my mentor who was a nursing faculty member that really convinced me that I could do it. See, that's another thing about my non-traditional nursing career. I had a mentor from very early on, and because of my relationship with her, she was able to open my mind to a lot of ideas and open up a lot of doors of opportunity for me. So my advice, look for a mentor, even as a nursing student. This could be your nursing professor, your clinical instructor, a nurse on the floor that you're on, someone that can teach you the ropes, that knows your strengths and sees your potential. They can open your eyes to what is possible. 
after obtaining my master's degree and having a bit of foundational clinical experience from the emergency department, I went full throttle into non-clinical roles. Here are a few non-traditional nursing roles I assumed. I worked as a program manager, a faculty advisor, nursing educator, clinical instructor, item writer, nurse examiner, research coordinator, and nursing professor. Now, I've pretty much worked the majority of my career in non-traditional roles, and I'm still to this day pursuing something very non-traditional on YouTube and my socials. Even now, as a business owner, I can see how each of these roles have shaped who I am now, and the skill sets that I've gained are still relevant and applicable years later. It's crazy when I think about how my career has unfolded. I started out in nursing thinking I was going to be at the bedside with clients, like many of you may have thought. But I followed my passion and interest and surrounded myself with mentors and people that supported my non-traditional career journey. I also think a big part of my non-traditional nursing career has a lot to do with having career goals from very early on. With the support and help of my mentor, I knew what my strengths were and I was not going to be boxed in or forced to follow a path just because everyone else did. So if you take away anything from this video, it's this. Your nursing career path is limitless. Don't limit yourself or put a label on yourself. The title nurse gives you the opportunity and the credibility to go far beyond what you imagine. So don't be afraid to explore, ask questions, try things out, and you might just be surprised at how your career unfolds. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to hit that like button now, leave a comment below and subscribe for more videos so you don't miss out. It's Professor Justy. Thanks for joining me today and see you back here for the next one.